secret to making the best tuna melt is making your own mayo. I have food processor and I want to start with three whole eggs. And now I'm going to add a touch of flavor. So I've got some Dijon mustard right in there. Pinch of salt, maybe two. A little bit of pepper. A little cayenne, some heat, and some garlic. I'm just gonna shave it right in here. Beautiful, perfect. Now the trick and the secret to making a really good mayo is really slowly incorporating your canola oil. So I'm gonna start the processor, and I'm just gonna start slowly adding oil, and you're gonna see it's gonna start to change. I want to take it until it's almost a little bit too thick because the last ingredient is lemon juice. It's really going to liven it up, but it's also going to loosen it up as well. Just want to squeeze it right in there. Start it up. Perfect. Now, time to make our tuna melt. I've got, obviously, some tuna, break it up a little bit. And to that, I'm gonna add some spicy antipasto. Nice big spoonful in there. Our mayo. Pepper. Pinch of salt. Just a touch of lemon. And celery leaves. One of my favorite ingredients. Right in there. Mix everything together. And now I've got my grated Gruyere cheese that I'm gonna put on top, but first, cut a nice, thick slice of red, just like that. And I'm gonna broil it in the oven just a little bit to toast it up. Touch of olive oil, just like that. Pop that in the oven on high broil. Exactly what I want. This LG oven has a high broil setting. Can't get better than that. Got my tuna mix just right on top. Like that. Just gonna add the gruyere. Let's be generous. Crack a pepper. Pop it back in the oven for about four to five minutes. Let it melt. Time to eat. Perfectly melted. Good. One last little touch of jardiniere, like that. Couple more celery leaves, and there you go. Now you know how to make the perfect tuna melt. Don't keep it a secret.